Soon after, then 16-year-old Ethan Couch got drunk, drove, killed four people and injured several others, he and his parents testified in a civil suit brought by one of the victims. In these 2013 deposition tapes obtained by ABC News, Ethan Couch talks openly about his drug use. Taking Valium, hydrocodone, marijuana, cocaine, Xanax, uh, Vivans. I think I tried ecstasy once. So where did it all go wrong? Early and often, it seems, with a defense witness and psychologist placing the blame squarely at the feet of Ethan's parents. Ethan learned you should be able to do what you want to do when you want to do it. I think that was the message generally. His father denying any blame. Did you teach Ethan that indeed because your family was wealthy that the rules didn't apply to you? Never. But that doesn't square with Fred Couch's own behavior during a DWI stop in 1992. Did you tell the arresting officer, I make more in a day than you make in a year? Probably. More than 20 years later, CNN was unable to determine the outcome of that traffic stop. Fred and Tanya Couch reportedly married in 1996. They divorced 10 years later, remarried but split again after the crash. Ethan's mother worked briefly as a vocational nurse, according to D Magazine. His dad owns a metal roofing company. He and his mother were close. Ethan reportedly slept on a separate bed his mother had moved into her room. Ethan Couch often found trouble and few consequences. At 15, he was caught drinking in a parked pickup with a naked, passed out 14-year-old girl. He wasn't punished. His mother couldn't recall the last time she disciplined him. You understand? did you not that he was likely to continue the drinking and driving if there weren't consequences I should have known that yes I really didn't think that that would happen again the teen was allowed to drink at a young age even drive himself to school at just 13 when the head of the school questioned that his father threatened to buy the school and when he didn't buy the school he pulled Ethan out of the school yes he did Ethan Couch's father found trouble too, once posing as a police officer during a disturbance call, even displaying a fake badge. He was charged with false identification and is awaiting trial. Now Ethan's mother may be in hot water too, on the run with her son. Randy Kay, CNN, Miami.